Hi! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make artist trading cards or ATCs at home using paper, scissors, and drawing materials of your choice. Artist trading cards are miniature artworks that you can share, trade, or keep for yourself. You put your information on the back so other artists know who you are. You need to get your uh, supplies ready. I'm getting paper, scissors, uh, ruler, tape measure, that's optional, and your art materials, whatever you're using. I'm using crayons, pencils, um, markers, and also magazine pages and glue for collage, but use what you have, whatever you have, and if you have other stuff, use that too. So once you have your materials ready, you're going to get the paper, and you're going to make that the right size. So what I'm going to do is trim the paper first and then fold it. If you just fold the paper a few times, um, hamburger si style, fold it three times and it should give you eight rectangles. They're equal rectangles that way. And if you trim it first to seven by 10, they're going to be exactly two and a half by three and a half. It's okay if they're not exactly that size. So you can use this um, first step to trim or not. So to trim the paper, you're going to take an inch and a half off of the shorter side, the eight and a half inch side of the paper. So I'm using that measuring tape to measure one and a half inches and marking that with a pencil. I'm doing that on top and bottom so that gives me a nice straight line. Even if you just mark it once though, if you fold this straight, then it's going to be okay. So I'm folding it down. That's going to just give me just the right amount to trim off. And then, like I said, if it's folded straight, then it'll work fine. I'm going to cut that little strip off. And then on the other side, the longer side, that's 11 inches long, you're going to trim off one inch. So I'm marking it with my measure measuring tape one inch, top and bottom. If you mark it once and you fold it straight, it's still okay, but it's easier if you have two marks. So I'm going to fold it lined up with those two marks to trim off that one inch of extra. And this is going to give me a paper that's 7 by 10, which is just the perfect size to fold eight ATC cards. Now you can fold the paper in half, hamburger. You're going to fold it in half the same way, hamburger, three times. Fold it in half, not the long skinny way, but the other way, three different times. The second time this is the third time and you can already see that looks like a baseball card size or like a trading card size so from here you're ready to start making your cards let's brainstorm ideas here's some of the ones that I came up with places colors characters seasons weather people hobbies sports movies games plants animals family members, and then what else? What other ideas do you have? Let's think about it, and then when you're ready, you can start. So one thing that I like is color schemes. So I'm just choosing three of my colors that I like, and then I'm gonna use those for several trading cards. You could do this if you like, or maybe you have another idea. So I'm thinking pattern, since we've been talking a lot about patterns and symmetry, and our weavings have patterns as well. So that was kind of my inspiration behind this design. And I was just kind of experimenting to see what it would look like and it, working with those three colors to make something. So again, it's just a design. It's not really supposed to be anything, just inspired by patterns and weaving and three colors that I like. After coloring it in, I decided to go back in and outline with pencil. You could use marker or some other materials to outline to kind of add some definition to that. It's not really, it's kind of a little bit rough, but when I add those pencil lines, it does make it stand out. It looks a little bit better. And then when you're finished with a card, you can cut it out, of course. And also on the back, we're gonna write your information. So your name, you could just do your first name the date or the year. And you could put the location as kind of general, like VA USA or just USA if you want. 
And then if you want, you could put a title. So I'm going to put colors on this for the title. That's optional. So I did several more um, using that color scheme. I'll show you some examples here. So more about weaving and some other just design ideas that I used with just those three colors in my pencil. I also wanted to do one with collage. So I had um, a catalog that had some interesting pictures and images. So I kind of thought that looked like a sunset or it reminded me of a sun. So I found some other pieces that I thought could match up with it and create a sunset picture. So I'm just arranging them on the card. I cut the card out first so that I could trim these extra pieces off pretty easily. And I'm using just the glue stick for this. You could use regular glue in a bottle as well. So after you have it arranged, then you glue it down in the direction, the pattern you want it. And then, like I said, once this is glued down, I'll be able to easily trim this off all that extra stuff. One thing that's nice about collage is it makes the card a little thicker. It's a nice weight to it. And then on the back, again, you put your name, um, the date, and location, and a title if you have one. So I'm titling this Sunset. That one's done. And then I was trying to think of something else. One other thing and I thought of something that reminded me of my daughter, something that she really likes to play with, a toy that she likes to play with, and a character she likes. Let's see if you guys can figure out what it is. I bet you'll figure it out. Pretty soon. Then I decided to write a word over here that kind of reminds me of that character. Add some color. If you haven't guessed it by now, you might not even know this character. This is Poppy from the Trolls movies. Anyways, my daughter loves her. I'm going to add some more details to this card. It's just about done. Uh, so you guys enjoy and see what you come up with and definitely share it with me. I'm excited to see your cards. Have fun. Enjoy. You can watch this to the end to see me finish the poppy card. Don't forget, again, to put your information on the back of your cards. Name, date, and location, and title if you have one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.